went into the hole. Hello, welcome back to our course vlog. And today we have Matt Ballard, our national coach at Sembawang Country Club. Hole 1 is a par 4 at 405 meters. There's water on the right side and it's reachable within 210 meters. You definitely want to put your ball on the fairway. Center or center left of the fairway will definitely be perfect. On your second shot, it's uphill all the way. You will want to add 5 to 7 meters off your distance. And Matt has chosen a 9 iron playing at 130 meters. So it's going to start the ball left as he fades and hope the ball moves back to the center of the green. He has pushed this ball slightly to the right. Uh, his ball is in a bunker, but that's not a problem for him. As you can see, he's setting up to hit a high and soft bunker shot, digging his feet in, open up the face really wide open, and a big splash. Oh, and wow! the hole the ball is in the hole steady lah so we are one under going to the second hole hole two is a short par four at 316 meters long hitters can reach the green in one or really close to it you'll want to be in the center or center left of the fairway as you will still have a good look at the green anything right of the arrow or the tree you're going to be blocked by a tree or you're going to be looking for your ball there's hazard there, so you just got to be lucky to find it. I guess Matt got lucky. Uh, we found his ball under the leaf. We have to pay attention to the lie below the ball. For cow grass, generally, it's either mushy or dry. And I guess it was wet. And Matt didn't get all of it. So to actually... Um, to do better in that situation, you might want to um, choose a lower loft, maybe a pitching wedge or 9 iron, to run the ball up. So generally for Sambawang greens, uphill parts are really slow, so you want to give it more pace. For Matt's part, it's going to move slightly to the right. If it hits its firm, he will save his par. You just go home. That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. <laughs> That's a lot of anger for not sinking a power part. Hole three, par five. The fairways are connected by bridges. If you carry more than two hundred meters, let's say a three wood or a driver, uh, you want to aim to the far right of this fairway. Anything shorter, you have to go left. Just be aware that there's water flanking both sides of this fairway. So choose your club wisely. On Matt's second shot, he's going to lay up with a 3 wood. But if you can't hit it far enough like Matt, then you might have to lay up towards the bunker on the right. So now Matt is left with 63 meters. He's got his 54 degrees. It's a sand wedge. And he's hoping to put this close for a birdie. He didn't read this enough and the ball went below the cup. A par is still good and we're even par going to the next hole. Hole 4 is another par 5. It's dot leg left. If you hit it long, you can go right in the center with 230 meters carry at least. Anything else shorter, you're gonna go to the right, the right side. What a beauty! So Matt hit this really really well and he is only left with a 6 iron. He's on a downhill line with 166 meters to go. So I guess he's going to hit this 6 iron really hard and let the ball chase up towards the green. He struck this really, really well and the ball almost went into the hole. Hit the pin. Great shot, man.
and now he has a tap in par for Eagle to go two under. So I reached out my hand to give him a fist bump, but I guess he was too engrossed with his Eagle and kept me hanging. Finally, great job, Eagle. good part. Four Hole 5 is a par 4 at 363 yards. You want to avoid the bunker at all costs. Going right of it would be ideal. Left of the bunker would still be okay, but I'd rather you not go there. So I met second shot. It's a blind shot. The wind is blowing in our face. So he shows uh, to hit an 8 iron. It's a 3 quarter swing. Keep it low and chase up towards the pin. One really important trait that you'll see from Matt's putting is that he always leaves his putt past the hole. If you leave your putt short all the time, then you're going to miss your putt all the time. Hole 6 is a short par 3. It has a severe downhill. So you'll want to take off 5 meters off uh, your distance. So Matt hit this slightly over towards the right side of the pin. And Matt leaves his putt past the hole again, giving himself a chance. And he's always really good with his return parts. Hole 7, par 4. A good miss on this fairway would definitely be on the right side. Left of the fairway, you're going to be um, going for 3 on and a possible bogey. So Matt is really deadly from 40 meters. This ball almost went into the hole again. Oh, nice. again. <laughs> so with this step in birdie, he's 3 under going to hole number 8. Hole number 8 is a par 3. The pin is uh, in a very friendly position today. So Matt chose an 8 iron, fit the ball in, and it landed at the front of the green. So we have a long part. I walked over and gave him a really good advice. The ball itself has its own energy, or life force if you will. Its natural environment is in the hole. So why don't you send him home? His bags are packed, he's got his airplane tickets. Bring him to the airport. Send him home. Send the ball home, Matt. Send it home. Yay! Hole number 9 is a par 4. You want to aim where the blue arrow is. All you need is about 200 to 220 meters down on the right side. And the ball will kick towards the left and keep it safe. So there's water hazard on the left. Make sure to never ever go there. So with 164 meters, Matt got in 6 iron, but I think he pulled this towards the left of the green. But this miss was really good, as he's able to set himself up to get up and down from there. So he's got his 60 degrees, I did a bump and run, the ball landed soft, and now he has a testy 4 footer for par. It's 95% on the PGA Tour to sing this part, but for Matt, it's 100%. Well done, 4 under, a score of 32. Thanks for the game. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the back nine.